Today I'm going to give you a comprehensive demonstration of what a digital Alpha Station 255-300 is capable of when running Windows NT4 Service Pack 6. So to get things started I'm going to log into Windows. And as you can see it comes up rather quickly. It's going to let it load properly. I'm going to start off by demonstrating the performance of Microsoft Office running natively in Alpha. I've got Word and Excel installed on the machine, so I'm going to start off with Word. As you can see, it comes up rather quickly and works smoothly. Now for Excel. Also loads incredibly quickly and works very fluidly. Next I'm going to show you the machine's video performance by running this quick video. It also runs rather smoothly if you consider the age of the machine. Okay, I also have Winamp installed running natively in Alpha, which I'm also going to quickly demonstrate. I don't have any other MP3s installed on the machine, but as you can see, it's working pretty well. Next, I'm going to show you the machine's performance when it comes to web browsing. And for this, I'm going to try and log into IREX Network. Okay, I'm going to choose Classic View, as that seems to work a little bit better. And as you can see, it comes up reasonably well. And I'm going to try and log into the forum. Also takes quite a while to load. Slow but sure, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to try and get into one of the threads. As you can see, the site doesn't look as it usually does. Let's see if we can navigate through it. Okay, let's see if any of the graphics load on the page. As you can see, the graphics load. So although it doesn't look as it usually looks, you're actually able to navigate RX Network with this web browser. Next, I'm going to demonstrate the system's gaming performance. I'm going to start off with some games that run natively 
on the Alpha Station. And I'm going to start off with the Sabre Fighter Plane Simulator. As you can see, it runs pretty well. Okay, next up I'm going to run PR Boom, which also runs natively. The nice thing about this is you have sound. As you can see, you've got pretty decent performance of this game. The uh, software that's ported to this machine runs pretty well. Okay, next up I'm going to demonstrate Quake 2 to you. And I've also got a version which runs natively on this machine. The only thing is I'm not able to run it in GL mode, so it's running in software mode. However, it takes quite a while to load then. And there you've got Quake 2 running on an alpha station, 255. I think this is pretty impressive if you consider that this machine wasn't at all made to play games. Okay, so you can see Quake 2 is actually playable on this machine. Next up, I'm going to demonstrate a little program called Radiance. Because it takes a while to load. Or Radiant. Okay, and I'm going to quickly render the scene. And what this program does is it renders a radiant object and shows the flare effects. does take quite a while then. And there you have it. Okay, so that's is that. Next up I'm going to demonstrate a little program called Inkblot. Set the image size to 800 by 600. And I'm going to zoom in. It's 
It's also a pretty decent performance from this system. Okay, now I'm going to get to FX32 and I'm going to show you what the performance of the system is like when it comes to playing games running in an emulated mode. So I'm going to start off with Doom 2. Just to compare the performance to PR Boom. Firstly, you can see there's no sound. And secondly, you can see that the machine's performance is significantly reduced. Okay, so it's not running in as high a resolution and it's also not running very well. I can actually barely see what I'm looking at here. Okay, so that's Doom 2. Also going to demonstrate Hexen. Again, running in an emulated mode. And also, pretty poor performance here. So although FX32 allows you to run x86 programs on this machine, you can see that the performance is pretty poor. But the programs do run though. And lastly, I'll demonstrate Rise of the Triad. If I can find it. But all in all, you can see that this is a pretty useful machine. So if you have software that runs natively on Alpha, running in Windows NT4, it actually runs pretty damn well. But I certainly wouldn't suggest this machine for emulation. And again, you've got pretty poor performance, actually, if you consider it. And especially if you consider that this machine was running Quake 2. When it was ported natively to the machine. Because this game runs a modified Wolf 3D engine. I'm actually getting pretty poor performance here. Okay, and that concludes my demonstration of this game. Okay, now I'm just going to go back to Quake 2, and I'm going to end off with this, just to show you that when you've got software which actually runs natively on this machine, it runs pretty damn well, all considered.
And this concludes my demonstration of this machine. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.